All right, it looks like it's finally started recording. So um, I told you guys I was gonna upload a video on where I've been, what I've been doing since the last time you guys saw me, which was like 40, 50 days ago. Um, but unfortunately, when I told the story on stream, apparently there was some copyrighted music playing, so it got muted, and I gotta re-record this. So uh, just a quick rundown, really. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know everything that happened, uh, I was being kicked out on the premise that my streaming was too loud after 9 p.m. Excuse me, after 10 p.m. And uh, even when I was absolutely quiet after 9 p.m. for like two whole weeks, I still got complaints on my volume levels and so that was why I had to go but uh, what a lot of people on the stream didn't know that uh, I'll tell you about now is that there was some other drama in the house that I couldn't really talk about so uh, couch guy I'm not gonna name him but for those of you guys that have been watching my stream you know who that is um, he and I prank each other sometimes and I used to get onto his laptop while he was at work and I would log on to his Facebook. Well, it was already logged in, really, but I'd get on his Facebook, and I'd, like, change his Facebook profile to something like Nicolas Cage or uh, Richard Simmons, you know, something fun. Well, one day I got onto his computer. He wasn't home, and I saw some GoPro footage sitting open on his laptop, and uh, he's the kind of guy who will, like, record us when we're at a drive through uh, so I always thought that was kind of funny because he'd edit them together and it would be pretty entertaining. So I thought I'd check out what he had recorded and uh, I actually found out this way, unfortunately, that uh, he had been, uh, unbeknownst to everyone else, he had been recording our female roommates. So there's four roommates, two rooms, the two guys are in one room, that's me and couch guy, and then the two girls in the other room. He had put the camera up in the light of uh, the bathroom wall, ceiling, excuse me, and uh, he'd been filming them while they were showering. And, uh, you know, I could have told on him immediately, of course, but uh, I knew him much longer than I knew the girls, and he'd really been a good friend to me all these months uh, since I'd been living in this place with him. I'd lived there for almost a year, you know, and, uh, you know, he was like, uh, kind of like a brother. So, it's hard for me as a person to be the person with the sword over someone's head and have to execute them, you know? So I, I didn't have it in me to do it. So I confronted him about it. And I was like, this has got to stop. You need to delete that stuff. My uh, personal respect for you as a person has been severely lowered. But uh, I'm not going to tell because you're my friend and you've done me some huge favors before. But this can't happen again. And, you know, he pretended like he was super guilty and uh, felt bad about it and he said he'd already removed them. I don't know if that's true or not. I never looked on his laptop again to see. But, um, and I also did not record the footage I found because I didn't want that shit on my phone. But um, that was that, right? Uh, months later, uh, and I, I had told him, because this was around the time I was being kicked out in the first place, and even then I still didn't tell. I just told him, look, man, I'm not going to tell, but you need to respect me, because he'd been kind of an asshole uh, the last few months I was living there. And uh, there was, like, one point where he turned off my monitor while I wasn't in the room. He was trying to turn off my stream, because my webcam was still on, and he didn't like people being able to see him when I wasn't in the room. And I was gone for, like, three minutes. And I got kind of mad at him. I was like, why are you touching my stuff? Uh, you shouldn't. And he basically, it came down to, uh, this is my house. I can do what I want. And like, I was like, well, you better stop right there. Number one, it's our apartment. I pay equal rent. And number two, um, that's fucking disrespectful what you just said. And number three, uh, if you say one more word, you're gonna regret it. That's what I told him, because this is this happened before he knew that I knew the fuck 
the fucking shit he'd been videotaping, right? So he called my bluff, and so we ended it there, and the next night he came up to me and apologized for being an asshole, and uh, he and I went and had our heart-to-heart -heart where I confronted him about the issue in the first place, but I told him, like, you need to start respecting me as a roommate, you know, because I thought we were friends, here you are kicking me out, I don't know what I'm going to do, and uh, sometime later, one of the other girl roommates confronted me in the middle of the night, because she goes to work really early while I was streaming, and she's like, hey, uh, so do you have a place to stay yet? And I told her, no, I don't, because it's really hard to find a place in uh, San Diego. She's like, well, as long as you're willing to sleep on the couch and pay at least half the rent, I don't mind you taking another month to figure things out and find a place to stay. And I was really grateful for that. So I told Couch Guy about it, and uh, he acted like everything was cool. Like, yeah, yeah, it sounds like uh, we'll be fine. Uh, I'll have to confront them about it, of course, he said. You make sure that we know. And I was like, sure, yeah. And in my mind, I'm thinking, well, of the four roommates, we've got me, Couch Guy, and one of the girls. So three of the four, I win the vote, right? I'm not going to get voted off the island for at least another month. That gives me enough time. Well, literally, the day I was originally supposed to leave, they waited until less than five hours before I was supposed to go and said, oh, hey, we had that vote, by the way, and uh, we decided you have to leave. And it completely caught me flat-footed, was not ready for it, did not have enough money saved up, did not have any backup plan at all, and it was really shitty. Because you know that if it came down to a vote, and the girl, and I texted her, she was like, yeah, I tried to help you, but everyone else voted no. Everyone else, even fucking couch guy, the guy I thought was my friend, you know, the guy I showed compassion to and didn't fuck over. And I still did not tell our roommates. Uh, I left, uh, took what money I had, uh, raised a little bit of money on Facebook because I told about what was going on. Not everything, mind you, but uh, enough. And uh, I raised a little bit of money. I bought myself a backpack, a sleeping bag, and uh, I was ready to, uh, you know, rough it. So I picked a place on the highway between where I used to live and where I was working. And I wanted to be close to work because I was going to be walking. And uh, I would uh, put all my valuables in the backpack, put it at the end of the sleeping bag. So I'd be safe, you know, everything would be fine. And a lot of people would have been posting on my, excuse me, commenting on my post about me being homeless. So it was kind of a shock for a lot of people. And I'm talking about my actual Facebook friends, not my, uh, my stream page. But uh, apparently a pastor of a church I used to go to saw my post. And I'm not kidding you, literally, as I've got my hands behind my back, I'm looking up at the stars, I'm about to close my eyes and go to sleep after I set my alarm for the next morning, I get a call from the pastor offering to give me a place to stay for the night. And the night turned into two weeks two weeks turned into uh, a month and a half so it was really cool but uh, during these first few days of me being on my own uh, uh, couch guy had seen my posts on Facebook and had seen a YouTube clip that I uploaded talking about it and proving what an asshole they were because like we're not supposed to be shirtless on stream uh, it's a thing I couldn't even like I'm in my boxers right now so if I was on stream, I could not stand up or my stream would get banned. So, like, we know that we're not supposed to do anything inappropriate on the stream. And that was one of the conditions when I first moved in. And this guy is making out with a girl. He knows I'm streaming. And they're both a little drunk. So it's super disrespectful. And I posted the video of that to kind of show the environment I was living in. So that people didn't think it was my fault I got kicked out. And he was really pissed off about that. Deleted my video right before I moved, because he had access to my computer when I wasn't home. And uh, he started harassing people that were like donating to my GoFundMe and trying to help me out. And I, I, I texted him, I was like, dude, this is your last warning. If you don't fucking stop, 
it's over, I will tell. And uh, he didn't listen, so I did confront the girls about it. And uh, I was able to give them a lot of information that I wouldn't have known if I hadn't been telling the truth. And uh, they confronted him about it. And this bastard, he calls me in front of them because, you know, he couldn't leave the room. They demanded that he talk to me in front of them. He tried to blame me. As in, he's like, you framed me. You put a video on my computer, blah, 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 blah. You've been planning this all along. Um, and see, when I was convincing the girls of what he'd done and they weren't sure, like they were 90% sure it was true because they had told me of some things. Like they caught him in their room once and he com he just said, oh, I smelled gas and I was trying to figure out where it's coming. Such a bullshit excuse. And they noticed that their toilet seat uh, had gotten broken one day and they didn't understand why. But see, couch guy is much shorter than I am. So to reach the light at the top, he had to stand on their uh, toilet seat. That's what we reasoned. Anyways, to kind of lawyer him into admitting that he did it, I convinced the girls that when they confront him to make him think that I recorded the footage from his computer, which I never told him about, um, so that he would come clean and admit it without any drama. So instead of coming clean and admitting it, he tried to pin it on me and reverse it and pretend like I'm the one who put it on his computer, since he didn't know that we didn't actually have footage of it. Um, so it's a really shitty thing, and he really showed his colors there. But anyways, guys, uh, here I am. I'm living uh, with a Filipino family that uh, pastors a church, and they're really cool people. Got to take care of their kid for a little bit. Tutored their daughter in art, but she wasn't too into it, so that's fine. But uh, I've been working on bass full-time. I started out part-time, and these past few weeks have been kind of rough because I haven't had a lot of money. But uh, I put almost every dollar I had into getting this place you see here because uh, if you don't get that deposit paid right away a good apartment like this will be gone because it's so hard to find uh, rooms which is what I'm living in not an apartment sorry or apartments in San Diego uh, if you're not able to pay the deposit right away so uh, I have about 20 bucks left but uh, I get paid this next Friday today is Sunday so I got a Monday to look forward to in a couple of hours it's gonna be great. But anyways guys, that's pretty much where I've been the past 40, 50 days. Uh, I've been streaming now for about two days and uh, got my own place and paying 550 a month in rent. And I uh, just wanted to say thank you for keeping up with me. I uh, really appreciate all the new likes on my Facebook page, all the new follows on my Twitter page, all the new subscriptions on my YouTube page. And I uh, really glad that you guys have supported me not only financially but you know emotionally just words of encouragement have been great and uh, I hope to continue entertaining you guys for as long as uh, I'm able to and uh, thanks anyways I hope this video accomplishes what I set out for it to um, I'm okay now and I'm here to stay it's the king of Yolo hell signing off peace